Hi there, this video's live. Very extreme for all the portraits of Doom Winter Weather Forecast UK 23. Let's video. Press the fans at the left side of the screen. Type the mic and digital series. It's 2016 pm in the evening. Oh, that's like 16 minutes past 8 pm in the evening, and it is Wednesday, the 11th of October 23, guys. Let's get on with Winter Weather Forecast right now. So, this up here is Metro we're looking at today. That's the maximum temperature by day, as it feels like. That's the rain, rain risk. That's the amount. And that's the cloud. Well, no, cloud amount. And that's the wind direction. That's the speed. That's the ratio of it happening. And that's the icon we were doing that day. Of course, the southeast Surrey region. We do a forecast at 20 minutes. Of course, UK, right together right now, guys. So, it's getting pretty highly combustible, guys. Chilly daytime temperatures for the first week of uh, December. Winds to the northeast. Then the winds go to the southeast. And suddenly, temperatures like 11 Celsius by day. It gets quite wet and showery. And you can see rainbow showers here. So maybe you can see on last day, it's a very heavy day on the 16th of December. Very mild southerly winds, very mild. It looks like it's going to be a very, very mild Christmas day, guys, according to this. Of course, uh, the, um, you name it, guys. The south in some reasons, we go down here, guys. There's winter weather forecast. Incredible, guys. What's interesting about this year, though, we have hurricanes across the Atlantic more than we would have with, us, with El Nino across the East Epic region. So, that's making me think, because the Gulf Stream's getting slower due to the ice caps melting in the South Pole, North Pole, which makes me think maybe this winter, just this time, this, just this winter for once, when we come from the west, it will be cold and snowy because the Gulf Stream's slowing down. I do wonder, but we'll have to keep an eye on it, guys. It's my little podcast for you. You can see what's going on there. It's quite a mild Christmas week, well, Christmas, December, sort of weather, little weather podcast, because from the Met Check. And this is the, uh, you name it, January forecast. Plus, make check, see there, guys, same sort of thing, same idea. Icons down the right, wind sort of coming from the southerly direction, southwest, so quite a mild winter. We do expect to be like El Nino across the east Pacific region at the moment, currently, with the southeast southern region, because northwestern Europe. Be colder in the southeast of Europe this winter, it should be. Start will be, be colder at the end of the, of the winter across the northwestern parts of Europe, with the super El Nino, El Nino across the you know, east um, Pacific region. We have got an El Nino joke here, which is interesting, it sometimes does cause a cold winter across northwestern Europe. And this is the uh, jam, you name it. Now we've done the jam route. We're talking about, wow, you name it, February. You see what's going on here, Met Check. See what's going on there. Temperature's quite uh, average, sort of slightly below for February, but it's nothing too uh, right about at home very much. The wind's sort of that way, see the see the temperature there. It's very in the Dan Jones for you today, guys, with forecast. And you're talking about, uh, wow, American, American, you see weather forecast. And you can see what's going on there, because suddenly in Southwest weather forecast, you can see 12 to 11 Celsius. About average temperatures by day, a little bit below average as we get towards the middle part of December. Very cold, especially on the 20th of December, it's Celsius and wet and horrible. Can't see the icon picture of the wind direction, but it's must be coming from the cold direction. And yeah, it looks like the disturbed one from American Czech, well, American actually. And this is the um, way you can see there, American uh, 12, um, well, America 18Z pub run. It's about very cold and westerly winds coming up this coming weekend and cold snacks. So the, the, it's the um, Wow, you name it, guys. That's the um, cold line. Now. That's the autumn line. We're in the autumn air here, and that's the colder air up here, guys, coming towards the UK. Cold snap on the way across the northwestern parts of the UK, around Scotland, especially, is on the way. And this is later on in October. It's very mild again, so obviously winds. So it's looking like uh, winter's caught coming in um, early this October for a while. It's going to be quite mild later on, October into um, you name it, which is interesting. And this is the um, you name it. Put this, yeah, the ball horse is doing it's getting quite powerful though. They look like 970. This is Lorme's forecast in October, so it does look like it might be quite a very powerful set of westerly winds across the North Pole up at 10 HBA, which is looking at here, guys, which needs a very, very well, very gloomy out for a very mild winter. If you want cold weather this winter, because North Korea doesn't look too good at the moment because UK. This is the weather forecast, you guys. Of course, uh, what the hell is there? Yeah, North Pole. And this is uh, Woking Town weather forecast. And uh, it looks like heavy rain tonight and into tomorrow. It's the raised shoe there. It's going to be quite heavy, 89%, approximately midnight onwards. Potentially, it might not be that bad. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not that bad. And tomorrow's like a dry day tomorrow. Potentially, it might be a wet, showery day. Don't make this little, don't guarantee, I can't guarantee it'll be a dry old day tomorrow. It doesn't look dryish, maybe. Friday's a very wet day. As you see, Thursday to Friday, maybe a lot of heavy rain. You see there. As we had a warning in place, the effect for Woking Town locally, which I talked about earlier on in my weather forecast video. If you liked it earlier on, thanks for watching it. The outdoor one in Woking Town, 
I think it's six gonna be day cold, highs of 12, 11 Celsius by as well, but I should be 16 Celsius, and there's a chance of frost this coming weekend. You see the cereal temperatures there, mark right there, because we can tell locally this is it's potentially possible. And it's been quite cold this weekend, but it does get warmer and milder in the future. 17 Celsius, so it's not over the warmer yet, because the October time is very across the way, can tell locally. I hope you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel, and 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 subscribe to the